Hello, this is Jeffrey Davis, and welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. Our next guest, I'm excited to introduce you to for multiple of reasons, especially because he's going to get us followers in Australia. So that's a good day, I'd say. Uh, and we're going to be speaking with David Broom, Broomhead of Subbies, and we're going to be talking about construction recruiting. Hi, David. G'day, Jeff. It's great to be here. And uh, nice to have you here. Tell us about Subbies and how it relates to the construction recruiting business. Yeah, sure. Uh, before I actually get into the, the product and solution we're trying to provide, um, I want to talk about the problem out there. So we're targeting the construction industry in America and how skilled laborers find work and also how those businesses, so general contractors, subcontractors, unions and recruiters, how they find the skilled laborers. And at the moment, it is quite old fashioned. I mean, using word of mouth, simply you know, getting your phone out of your pocket, calling your friends to see if they can work on a job, using Craigslist, um, classifiers and newspapers, and some job boards and websites are having some success. So what Subbies is trying to do is come out with a new product which is a website and a mobile application, which will help connect the two together. Um, it's been called a blue collar LinkedIn with uh, Airbnb and Yelp type functionality, but we just wanna make a simple and easy process to make it more transparent and cheaper for both sides to connect. Or for employees working. to work for the right employer and the employer to find employees. 100%, 100%. Has this been done in any other industries yet? Absolutely. If uh, you look at different verticals, so retail, there's a number of platforms out there that are aggressively taking up the market. Um, and also in the B2C space, um, so if you're at home and you need a plumber or an electrician, there's a number of um, companies coming in and competing. Angie's List is a classic one. It's been around for over 10 years. Right. And you've got home advisors, even Amazon Home Services are coming in now. There's multiple services coming in into the B2C space. But in the B2B where we're trying to target, there's really uh, no one in the current market. Wow. Now, do you have a history of entrepreneurship uh, or is this sort of your first venture? I've, uh, I've gone down the corporate path for the last eight to 10 years um, in finance in Australia. And as much as I love that, I knew deep down I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I just wasn't satisfied no matter how high the hill and I climbed it and I achieved my goals, I wasn't satisfied. So I knew that burning desire to be an entrepreneur, I had to um, you know, go and take that next challenge. And that's why I came to, uh, to Boston. I went to Babson and got a one year MBA and you know, found a big problem that I'm trying to solve. And that's what I'm doing. And I've built a team now. We've got a, we've got a product and a prototype that we're testing with customers. And we're getting great traction from um, you know, all different verticals, from the recruiters, um, from the worker side, and from like big, big general contractors down to the guys on um, working on the ground. So it's been really exciting the last six months. Uh, so you're not gener generating any revenue yet? No, not yet. So and it's all self-funded, bootstrapped? Correct. As all true ventures start. And it's a good way because it makes you hungrier when you're putting in your own capital. You've got skin in the game. So you really want to make it work. And um, yeah, I think everyone's motivated on the team. And you know, hopefully this time next year, we're having a different conversation. Uh, are you looking for funding? We're always looking for funding. I think, uh, you know, you never know. And um, I think, you know, strategic money is the best money. Uh, to me, money, it's not easy, but it's just a commodity. It's a currency that can exchange for services or products. It's the st strategic money that comes with it, whether they can help grow your business by, you know, introducing your new customers, expanding into new markets, opening their network or attracting great people to your company. I think that strategic money is what I'm really looking for and what every kind of good company entrepreneur should be looking for. Uh, David, if somebody wants to find you at Subbies, learn more about it, maybe get involved with funding and interested in the real estate or the construction industry, how would they find you? Sure, you can go on our website. It's www.subbies.com. That's S-U-B-E-A-S-E.com. Um, or shoot me an email, david at subbies.com. I'm always happy to have a chat um, yeah, we're always looking for good people to work with or, you know, the strategic partners that want to help us grow the business.